And we're back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins with Ariana Tapras. So, last time we left off, we just returned from the wild from retrieving our various doohickeys. And we now have all the dark spawn blood as well as the um, treaties. And finished up a couple of side quests in the process. And you'll notice I've not leveled up anyone yet, even though we could. There's a reason for that. You will soon find out. Anyways. We also turned in that herb to the Kennel Master, so Doggo should make a full recovery. But Duncan's waiting patiently for us here. Let's not keep him waiting any longer. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Hmm. Well, before we do, maybe we should tell you about Morgan and her mother. We met a couple of the locals in the forest. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. I have a maybe feeling Duncan already knows country. what apostates I know are, Alistair. Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Mm. Okay, fair point, but how about you tell us what the ritual is about now? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. I see. Well, I might not have exactly planned on becoming a Grey Warden, but even if this ritual can kill me, I've come this far. I'm going to see things through come hell or high water. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Uh. What, this again? This is at least the fifth time. He's been whining about this since we met. Are all humans such bloody cowards? I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Make a very good point, Daveth, and I already like you more than this idiot. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. 
we can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Those who survive. Don't think I missed that comment, Alistair. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. There Had is I no known. turning back. No, you ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. Son of a bitch. The joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. That was one buggy animation of us drinking in the dark spawn blood. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? <laughs> yes. Uh, nothing you said really prepared me for that, to be honest. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. Hmm. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. What kind of meeting? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Okay, strategy meeting with the king now. Yeah. So yeah. The fact that Davith dies and Duncan kills Sir Jory is the reason why I didn't bother to level up either of them. And it happens. is the reason for that. 
as there's no point in doing anything about it if they're not going to make it through. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Well, you say it's not a dangerous task. That's the case. I can do it myself and you can keep Alistair on the front lines. I can already tell that's what he would prefer. No. It's best that you both go. Hmm. Rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? Mm -hmm. I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Magi trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the darkspawn. And the prominent Enough. religious figure is a bitch. The Grey Wardens will like Why am I not surprised? You, Logan. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Galen. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Hmm. Yes. As it happens, I agree with Alistair. I just didn't want to say anything dissenting in front of the king or Logan. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I might like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. Mm. <laughs> the tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp. I love Duncan's. Oh my god, now there are two of them. The sigh, right there. <laughs> that is just the best. <laughs> Okay, but when do we light the beacon? I imagine the timing matters. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Should we join the battle after we light the beacon? 
Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Hmm. But what if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. Sounds Give about right. Leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Hmm. <laughs> I understand. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Wondering that little scene there with Alistair and Duncan doing their little handshake that was added by one of my mods. Which I have more than a handful that just add some flavor and extra immersion and role playing things. On this chest here. My inventory's full, apparently. Okay. One second. One dagger. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the merchant is gone, so I'll have to sell my stuff another time. Go. It's time for plot, and time for me to be quiet. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Yes, well, were it so easy, as the Arbiter is wont to say, were it so easy.
Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of Ishal. Right. We probably don't want to be sticking around. Just watching the action. We gotta get to the tower and light that beacon pronto, like. Help me, they're everywhere. They've taken the tap. You, your grey wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. And yeah, we get a mage and a warrior here. And no, if you were curious, they don't switch out the warrior for a rogue. If you happen to be playing a mage or a warrior yourself. still in the stage where I don't actually need to be that strategic and can just rush forward and attack. Get a backstab in. and cash are the only things I Let's want off of these idiots, really. As you wish. I don't need a dagger. On it. Nothing up there, but I believe one of the enemies hangs out up there until you aggro them. So that's a place to look for them. Right. I suppose. Gotcha. Only one shall stand. Like I said. Not actually much need for strategy or tactics until much later in the game on the difficulty I'm playing. I may decide to change my difficulty later. It depends, really. We will see. Got behind the alpha. A little bit of pausing to backstab people, on the other hand. It works for me. Because backstabs very much do give you a nice increase to your damage. Let's get started. Destroy that. Pick you up. And in we Sagosa. You feel some dark spawn in this area. I see. Well, 
that's a trap. So I didn't think to check for traps. The other. Get you and those imbeciles. Gave me the moment to take out most of his health. And now, Emissary gets a few behind these. loot the bodies. That's how this goes. You kill the enemies and then you plunder their corpses for whatever gold they have on them or items that you'll sell later. That's generally how we do these things. At least it's how I do them. And you may have noticed that I seem to be perfectly content to leave my difficulty on the current one which is casual and the reason for that is for one thing in the past I've always kind of struggled with the harder difficulties and more to the point when it comes to playing and leveled up I'll deal with that after the fight, I think. When it comes to normal and above, like I said, and I'm not the greatest, but also I'm generally just doing this playthrough for the story. Because I am, like probably the majority of players, I would think, more invested in Dragon Age for the story and the plot right. than for the game player getting a challenging gameplay experience. Hence why I tend to stick to the easier difficulties. So, I will probably not raise it above normal difficulty at any point during this run, to be frank. Level up, I do believe. I'll get an attack in on you. And double sweep. There we are. Through with those couple of guys. Some money and some healing potions. Those health poultices really are the best thing ever. Let's get started. I don't need a new one of them. And I could just head up, but before I do that, I want to level up Arianne and Alistair. Because they've gained a couple of levels between this and the fact that... We went through the Kokari Wilds with them, so. No, actually, let me check something first. For Ariane, the edge, that dagger, 
requires 26 dexterity. Hmm. Put a few points to that. And we'll add some constitution. Actually, hmm. I think improve our coercion a little bit. And now, I'm going to give myself. A level in trap making. As I would dearly like to start being able to do traps and stuff as part of our strategy in battle. Mm. Next, get me that Grey Warden sense. Some more, which is apparently an ability we have to sense nearby dark spawn, which again is from a mod. Right. Make us bread. What are these dark spawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? It's though. Cheer up. <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Alright. We feel some dark spawn. Uh, and... Um, would appear I have some more points I've not put into them. It's right now. Combat training. I need to pick up the better combat training one to be able to get other stuff. I'll get that one though. And another level of sneakiness. Make backstabs easier. Passive. And now, Alistair, you have a few points I can give you. Actually, since you are trained as one, we'll put your specialization point into Templar. And so that's what makes more logical sense to me. Mm. Give you that. Hmm. Let's see. Combat tactics and making potions. Uh, let me see here. Shield pummel. Shield cover, yes. And yeah, I'm basically ignoring the other two. This probably won't surprise you given they're just unnamed tower guard and unnamed temple mage, but those two don't matter. They won't be in our party for very long. So we do not have to actually care for them. Spoilers, but predictable spoilers. They're here with us for the duration of the Tower of Ishal. That's it. So they literally do not matter. Come on then. A bit of silver this time, not just coppers. To 
discarded book about the Chantry. Again, we're going to be doing individual episodes for Codex reading, so disregard those for now. Okay. You take that. All right, I think we've done enough with the crossbow. Worth lootifying in here. So let's go and unalive you lot. You, my friend, trying to backstab. Unsuccessfully, mind you. Bizarre to me. Oh, it'll just kill you. This should be easy enough. That took them off the board. Yeah, we're just shredding these guys right now. We really are. Game better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Yeah, no joke. Uh, I didn't see enough dark spawn to get a sense of how the battle was going, but I saw that there were a lot of them. I don't see a conventional win being a thing here. I really don't. having that on disabled critical hits and backstabs. I didn't notice that part. I did not notice that. As you wish. With that, hmm. You don't have any good weapons, do you? Just a short bow, and I am not a bow user, nor is Alistair. You guys have fun. I'm gonna let the dogs out. This is making it a whole lot easier. Because we have backup puppies. Who have already been shredding these guys. Nice. Good puppies. Good 
good enough. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the acid flasks. I can always make more if I need them, and I want war paint. I can't tell you why I'm taking that. So don't ask me to. Nor can I take a puppy with me. What I can do is slaughter more dark spawn to let out my frustrations of the world in general. And you'll notice there's rather a lot of them here. But the dogs are still here. That's something, right? Genlock, or is it Genlock? I was never able to figure that part out. There we go. Yeah, the dogs are coming with us to help out with other things. For now... What we got in here? That's nice. These quartz and other gems and stuff. I can happily leave them behind because... As you wish. That sort of thing is a dime a dozen. We'll find more of it easy, so... It's not like they're unique items, and there's no reason for me to agonize about leaving them behind, to be perfectly honest. And Ariane is not enough of a consummate looter of valuables she finds to give up precious weapons and other equipment pertinent to her survival in exchange for some jewelry. Hence why that's not a thing that will be happening. Okay. Dead spawn? There we go. <laughs> that was Pulsus. We're already full up. That goes, so I'll get a potion. And I am not skilled enough to open that lock. Sad. Not what I was trying to go for. Unfortunately. I don't think we're going to manage to reach level 7 before we leave here, which means I will forever be wondering what was in that chest and what could have been. It's an awful shame, but... It's just loot. Oh my fucking god. What is that thing? Now, if you've watched my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play with Melinda Shepard, you will recognize this creature. You will recognize it because it 
It was a statue in Donovan Hawk's treasure vault in Mass Effect 2's DLC with Kasumi. This is the ogre, one of the big dark spawn and technically a boss. Though, if you want to get really specific, Dark Dragon Age doesn't really have bosses per se. It has enemies with plot importance and beefier, chunkier health bars. That's about it. And another thing it likes to do is enemies you find in that state. You will also meet again later, but they won't be plot relevant. So we will see lots of ogres later. Just killing this one is pertinent to advancing the plot. Yes. This guy likes to jump and whack everything. He's also arguably the first time when it benefits us to be and apparently our mage. The fact that I never leveled him up is not great. Weapons at the ready. As far as that goes, hmm. Alistair. Do a shield pummel. Arian. You know what, I'm gonna pop some of my health bits on the bars here. Lesser and standard. And Alistair. Use a greater. Yes. Okay. Time for the sun. Mm. Right, man. Come on, Alistair. I striking then shield bash and Ariane dual weapon sweep yeah Alistair No, the thing I want to use isn't available yet. So, Alistair, now you can shield pummel. Yeah. Excellent. Down he goes. With a nice fucking finisher. A nice fucking finisher. The beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. That shield looks rather nifty, however. These daggers can go. This should be easy enough. If 
reference Aegis. And now all we have to do is light the beacon and advance the plot. But I happen to know what happens when you do light the beacon. So we're going to leave that for next time. So thank you very much for watching. Has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and I hope you'll join me next time for some more Dragon Age Origins. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.